100% of the population in Chiang Mai has a compromised immune health and then co compromised respiratory health because of this. So 100% of the population is susce more susceptible to the virus. Hi, my name's Tara and welcome to Check the Power, where we take a second look at what's happening around Thailand. Today, I want to take a break from talking about coronavirus and instead talk about the fire that's been raging up in northern Thailand for months now. Though this is not a new problem, it's been especially bad this year to the backdrop of the pandemic. And with the government and media attention focused on COVID-19, there are grave concerns about how to control the fire as well as to deal with the consequences like air pollution. Since around late January, Chiang Mai has been cloaked with thick, dangerous smoke due to a series of wildfires ravaging through the forests and the mountains. One of the biggest fires was started at the famous Doi Suteb National Park two weeks ago and has so far damaged over 2,400 rise of land. <laughs> Meanwhile, many citizens complain that they suffer from sore throats, eyes, coughing, and some say they even have discharge coming out of their eyes. Chiang Mai's air quality index came in first place globally today for most polluted at around 11 a.m. Worst ever, 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 ever. We were, we were top of the charts as the worst, the world's most polluted city for days, weeks. It's just not acceptable. You know, we're dying here. Mm -hmm. this, this should have been declared a national emergency years ago. This should have had like a, a ministry set up, a task force. And with no long-term budget or solution from the central government, wildfires up in the north are a common occurrence this time of the year. So it's kind of like a groundhog day of like this problem happening again and again every March and April of every year and no serious action ever being taken as the problem like gets worse every year. On March 30th, two men were arrested for starting the fire in Doi Tip by trying to create fire breaks. Some say they're scapegoats, however, to draw attention away from the large crisis of organized and systematic forest burning, some of it driven by big companies that outsource production to rural farms. While some believe the solution is harsher punishments for fire starters, many also believe that the entire agriculture market in Thailand needs to be improved completely. So instead of our farmers growing crappy, cheap, cheap, cheap corn that is not sustainable on their land, it causes pollution, hard work, they're getting terrible money, you know, support an entire infrastructure and industry where they actually grow that high value crop. So what do you guys think? Do you have any long-term solutions to recommend? Let us know in the comment sections below. And that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for joining in. For more news, features, and videos, visit worldwideweb.thisrupt.co. My name's Tara from Bangkok, and I'll see you next time. Bye.